it means they know they're in a total mess and that they didn't do this properly from the beginning. Um, they have a legal obligation to negotiate nation to nation with First Nations. And instead of that, they downloaded it to the National Energy Board, who, who held hearings and made First Nations take a number and stand up at a line in a microphone. This, is, this has been a disaster. And, and from the Council of Chiefs, Chief Executive Officers to the former Energy and Aboriginal Affairs Conservative Minister Jim Prentice, it, everybody knows this hasn't worked. Because if, if you do not treat First Nations as partners and with a real negotiation, it, you will end up with a failed process. So it means that, that it takes but too what, long, but are it they takes doing too much that? money, is, is the, and is then the appointment you end of up Iford, in, is that what they're doing? No, but, but if, if you don't do this, it takes too long, it costs too much money, and, and you end up in court and you lose. They have now taken this failed process and, and, and added in a failed special envoy who was already supposed to be negotiating the comprehensive land claims, which is his ground to, to almost nothing. And it's not surprising First Nations don't trust this process because comprehensive land claims have done have, have been com seriously reduced over the last number of years but, uh, under the, this I, I, same I that, individual. But, but Carolyn Bennett, is the appointment of Eifert a step forward, yes or no? It, it isn't what First Nations want. They want somebody who can negotiate with them nation to nation. Just listening is not the same as negotiation in, in a serious way with someone that they trust. They, the, the comprehensive land claims has not been working. And so it is, it is a bit insulting to appoint somebody that First Nations have already right. had trouble with. Okay, Evan. Peter